Oh, I'm tired, but I am not exhausted. Um, so that's that's good. One of the things I wanted to touch on was if I thought trucking was worth it after all of the sacrifices that you make, after being away all the time, all the snappy nappy that you miss, all the pinocha, the pussy, all the sex you don't get, after all of that, the bullshit at shippers. After all of the bullshit shippers and the things you go through and breakdowns and checks being small sometimes and after all of that is trucking worth it. Yes. It's worth it. It's worth the independence that you get. It's worth the 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 confidence that you have and your purchasing power and your and taking care of yourself it's worth all of that and that's one thing that is missing from a lot of your life because it was missing from mine is the confidence to be self-reliant that confidence is very important when it comes to the basic makeup of a adult especially a man and when you don't have that confidence it drives a lot of other things in your life for you to do more reckless shit because you feel like, fuck it. I have the confidence to know that I'm, I can completely be self-reliant. I don't need anybody. I don't need my father. I don't need a girlfriend. I don't need to live with anybody. I don't need anything. I can go, I can go to a, let's say I canceled all the relationships in my life right now family and everything. I could hop, I could call Melton or I can call an OTR company, get in that truck and completely sustain myself. I'll have my own health care. I'll have my own residual income. All of my responsibilities will met as far as my child support and, and uh, my insurance and taxes. Everything will be met as an adult if I did that thing. I don't need anybody based on the skill that I've built in trucking alone. And I can say that with confidence and in, in complete certainty. The skills that I learned at CR England are still paying me to this day. And a lot of people say shit bad about CR England. And it's a sucky company. Don't get it fucked up. It is a shitty situation. They're probably going to rape you. But as far as what I learned there, oh, it's second to none, I feel. I learned a great deal at CR England. I, um... With enough, um, hold on one second, it's got to turn it. Uh, I learned a great deal at CR England, something that's still helping me take care of myself today. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. You know, as many things that I couldn't do before. I never could get the money up to get a car. I never could, 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 could fix my credit. I never could, could repair the relationship with the mother of my child because I never was able to contribute to the situation and dealing with her frustration and, and her suffering alone and not having any money and, and trucking alleviated all that. Just like that. Alleviated it all. Now I don't, I don't have as many worries. And there's nothing better than that feeling of the worries being left off your and you know that you're a man and you can stand on your own two feet. Yes, it's worth it. Regardless of all the rhetoric that people throw back and forth on these trucking channels telling you what company you should go to and all of this other bullshit, one thing you're going to know, out of at least 75% of these companies, you will be able to, after your first year, when you go into your second year, you will be able to completely take care of yourself completely by yourself. And that is what you should be asking about.
You should be asking about how does it feel to be completely independent? You're completely independent as a man. You make your own damn decisions and people will treat you differently because you are an actual man, not a male, an actual man. Women will treat you differently. Um, the people and the relationships you have with other people, everything will change because they can't come at you sideways. They can't hold anything over your head because you're in complete control over your situation. Yes, they're going to treat you differently, and that's worth its weight and gold. I'm telling you, that's worth its weight and gold. You'll be surprised how many of your issues are connected to if you can take care of yourself. A.K.A. money. You'll be surprised how many of your issues. People treat you different when you when you got to live hand to mouth. When you got, when you're a beggar, you're not a chooser. Beggars can't be choosers. I create my own situation, my own destiny. Y'all watch me quit three jobs. Fuck them. Yeah. I got the freedom to do it. I, I quit this job right now. And, 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 and go to go to Dallas, Texas. And get a job. And in doing this, I don't even have to get an apartment there. Nope. I'm on a plane. Sure, go. Here you are. Whoop. Hotel. Why are you going through orientation? As soon as you had orientation, bam, you're in a truck. Got a place to stay. That's that's. <laughs> it's just beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful thing, and I want everyone to watch my shit. Everyone to watch that shit. That's a student that's thinking about being a student that's thinking about becoming a trucker that's just looking at it because they like to look at it they probably work at Best Buy they probably work at wherever and every once in a while they get on here they're kind of interested in trucking they look at the trucks and they look at the other videos and they think wow woody woody woo and they don't even understand the gravity of the decision. If they make this decision, if you make this decision, you don't need to live in your mom's house. Chances are, within time, as you get better, you're gonna make more than your parents or your mom. With a little bit of gumption and a little bit of working hard, you will. Your friends are going to look up to you. Your life will change. That's not a small thing. I can't reiterate this to you enough. Especially if you come in from not having. Like me. I don't even come from a functional home. <laughs> to even understand how to react to making money and being able to sustain myself. Your life is going to change. Every hood dude that's watching this, person living in the projects, person living in the trailer park, living in the middle of nowhere in rural America, everyone watching this, if you call that recruiter, your life will change, bro. Your life will fucking change. To the guy who's out there been working his job seven, eight years, it's just dead end. He's plateaued at $38,000. He hates his job, he hates his life. Call a recruiter. Your life will change. Trust me. That's how I feel, man. That's truly how I feel about it. You want to make a life change? Call the recruiter. I'll even give you the names again. Pam, Trans Am, Stevenson's Transport, Warner, Swift, CR England, Maverick, TMC. Every single one of them people send you a bus ticket right now. Right now. All you need is a driver's license, pal. Driver's license, birth certificate, uh, uh, and saying where you worked at for the past 10 years. And some of y'all so young, you ain't even been working 10 years. You don't need no motherfucking, uh, uh, you don't need no, uh, no high school diploma. You don't need a GD. A couple of guys out here that I was in school with any IGD, all they had was a license. 
They went right here and making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. You do need a, a, a high school diploma. No, you don't, because I ain't got a high school diploma. And I didn't show them my GED. They ain't even asked me. That's all I'm saying. You want your life to change? You want shit to get better? You want shit to be different? Call the recruiter. Change your fucking life, man. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Ain't it going to be hard? Yep, life is hard. Life is hard. But I'm not up here to tell you I make a bunch of fucking money and love. I drop a Benz out. I'm better than you. Your shit. I'm not up here to tell you that. I'm up here to tell you why not you live good. I ain't even living all outrageously ridiculous. But to the people that I'm talking to, they think I'm living like the shit. Because I've been where you at. I understand how I feel. Nigga. Like, I know how I feel. I know how I feel to walk to the store to get a black in my house. They had to dig for the change. I know how that shit feel, dog. I know it. People you in the house living with treating you like dirt. I know how that shit feel, bro. Having to sleep on the on the couch but can't come into the house until everybody about to go to sleep. I know how that shit feel. Other people in the house fucking with you because they know you can't do shit about it. Bro, I know how that shit feel, man. I speak to you. I speak to you, man. Call the recruiter. Don't, oh, I'm gonna do it next fall. You're a fucking idiot. Call right now. Ain't no time like the present, bitch. Call right now. Call them right now. Call the recruiter. Look up, look up whatever company recruiter. And if you coming from the bottom and you, you struggling, you shouldn't give a fuck about what company you going to. You just need someone to fucking take you. Call the recruiter and be gone right now. Bet you it change the face on every month. Don't even tell them you're going to leave. Don't tell them. Don't tell them shit. They're going to tell you the bus ticket, where it's going to be. All right. Boom. Get it as close to your house you can because you may not have transportation. No one to drop you off. Pack one bag. And one day, just be gone. If it's a girlfriend, really don't tell her. Fuck her whole head up, nigga. Fuck her head up. Just bounce. Just be gone. She look, she look up you being goddamn Illinois. That's my advice to you, if you're dying right now. That's just my advice, that's how I feel, man. That's, that's to the ones that's down, to the ones that's, to the ones that's trying to get in the truck and to the ones that's thinking about getting in the truck. And to them, call the recruiter, stop being a bitch. You want your life changed, don't you? You want to get out your situation? Trucking one of them equal opportunity motherfuckers, man. You call them and have a valid license, they will take you. And once that recruiter gets a hint of blood in the water and he gets your goddamn number, he ain't going to let up until your ass is there. So you better be ready when you call. <laughs> Anybody who's ever dealt with a recruiter know what I'm talking about. The motherfuckers are salesmen. Don't worry about all the lies he's going to tell you. Get to get there to get your license. Once you get the license, fuck all the lies they told you. You got your license now. <laughs> fuck them. That's how I look at it. This truck of brown coming down, man. I'm on the gram chilling. And I'm about to go to the gym. If you're dying, call the recruiter, man. They only they know if they're gonna take you. Don't don't message me and ask me if they're gonna take you based on your situation. Call them and they'll tell you. And all of them don't have the same situation. One say no, call another one. Another one say no, call another one. One of them motherfuckers gonna take you. Trust me. Yeah, Western Express. Call them too. Get up, get out, and do something with yourself. Trucker Brown coming down.